Wendy. Hi, my dear students. I welcome you back for grade three, lesson two, understanding windows, continuation video of part two. In last class, do you all remember what did we see? Yes, what did we see? Yes, we saw what is windows. Very good. What is the next one we saw? What is desktop screen? Very good. And what else? What is taskbar? Icons and so on. Right. Shall we see what is that we have for the uh, in this video? Yes. Here we are going to see how we are going to open a program or how we are going to move the icons in windows okay and also how to arrange those icons in the desktop yes so we saw the icons right so how can we arrange it in the alphabetical order those things we are going to see next one we are going to see how to change a background desktop background you love to uh, change keep on changing this uh, background right the screensaver we call it as the background and also what the screensaver and main thing what are the proper steps to shut down the computer that's very important you know yes so let's get into the one by one topic in this video so now do you all remember what is this first screen yes so what is this first screen? The screen uh, when you switch on your computer. Yes, this is desktop screen. What is this one? Yes, start button, the big long one. Exactly, very good. What is this? Taskbar. What is this? Very good, notification area. And what does this pictured one, labeled one, I remembered you. Yeah, what is it? Icon. Very good, superb. So, so yeah, I, I was, I'm very happy that you are all remembered what all the things we learned in earlier class. Now, let me check up, do you remember this? Yeah, you all remembered how to select. So we learned about how to select one particular icon, right? Now we are going to see how to select an icon which is nearby and which is not nearby. Yeah, like more than one. Okay. Now first what we need to do, how do we do the selection? Yes, very good. We we'll go to that particular picture or the icon and we will select. Now, using your keyboard, do you see an option called CTRL? It's called control button. If you press that and without releasing it, if you select two or more icons, what will happen? All the icons, whichever you are selecting, it will get selected. Okay. Now I'm. Uh, we have selected, what, what is this icon which we have selected? This PC. Now I'm gonna use my control button on my keyboard and I'm going to select one more Lenovo. Can you see? Yes. What are the two ones which has been selected? Yes. And also without releasing the control button with your help of your keyboard, you can select by clicking on the mouse. Okay. This is called selecting it. So non-selection, how do we do it? When you release it, that's it. When you click the mouse icon on the outside, what happened? Can you see the selection is gone? Yes, this is how you select an icons and the adjacent icons. Adjacent icons means the nearby icon. Okay, now we are going to see how we can hard range the desktop icons. Okay, now, ma'am, what do you mean by desktop icons? Arranging means what, ma'am? Students, you all remember when we go to the PT class, ma'am asks us to, you know, stand according to the attendance order, uh, not to the attendance order, height order, right? 
in your class if any exams uh, you are having they'll ask you to submit according to your attendance order here according to your it order for your pt they will do right likewise here also we can arrange these icons either in alphabetical order or according to the size size means how much were the capacity it is holding okay shall we see how we have to do it yes are you all ready my dear students yeah yes now this is the blank area what is this area this is the area where the icons are there now um we are going to take our mouse pointer going to keep on the blank area blank area means where the icons are not there so in this area the icons are not there so i'm going to click on right mouse button what am i doing yes right mouse button or right mouse button when you always click there is a menu will pop up can you see like how when we go to the uh, hotels there'll be list of uh, menus available what all the items your lovely eatable items likewise here it is an items which is display inside the computer the category whichever is there okay now can you see view option here yes please look here how all the buttons have been arranged here okay now see now uh, can you see an option called view so now when you click on option view again if you see here there is an option called auto arrange or arrange icons to the grid small icons medium or large so you can just click accordingly i'm clicking on option large what happened to the system oh my god it is fully occupied what happened yeah what did i do what did we do yes so what happened to the icons they didn't become bigger large so likewise we can arrange it accordingly either in medium size now can you see is it back what a magic right so medium size and it has gone to the medium size now there is one more option here which is called auto arrange auto arrange means automatically it will arrange okay now uh, say now i am having the zoom app here like if you have any app on the side or something if you go, if you go to the right click and if you go to the option called auto arrange what will happen the particular icon will be arranged in automatically without any gap okay now can you see i have two icons here and there is it arranged automatically according to the space can you see a gap here so how to do it the same way right click view auto arrange where is the icon gone oh my god i kept some icon where is it gone it is gone to the position why did it went because we have given an option auto arrange so we can see right it is neatly arranged and uh, without any gap right so this is the option of auto arrange arranging desktop icons okay now we are going to see next one is changing a desktop screen background what is this desktop this is the first screen when we are when your computer runs so the screen this main screen what is it called as desktop you all know it so you like to change the uh, icons right i mean the background right every time you would like to do it am i right so how are we going to do the same way what did i say when you wanted to change anything what button which button i'm sorry yeah right mouse button can you see an option called personalize yes you are going to click on an option called personalize Okay, as soon as I click on personalize option, it goes to the settings. Can you see here? Yeah, this is your settings. Settings means what? You give a setting to it, and you change. Even in your mobile, you must have seen, right? Likewise, we are going to the settings option, and can you see an option called background? Can you see? Yes. So we are going to click on the option called background. and once when you click on the background option you will see the pictures which appears can you see yes yes so you can see the picture which is appearing and you can choose that pic particular picture when you click on to it 
and if you click on okay okay automatically what will happen yes what will happen yes it will your uh, background will be changed okay or you can click on the option changing my desktop screen desktop background it is all the same it the background or this one it will get changed okay this is how we change our background next one you can see there is an option called screen saver what is the option we have got screen saver we saw what how to change the desktop background right now we are going to see how can we change the screen saver on your windows pc that is on your computer how can we how, how to do the screen saver okay now before i uh, tell you the steps let me explain to you what is the screen saver you know what do you mean by the screen saver now desktop means what is it it's an image right likewise when you are using the computer and if it is ideal ideal means you don't touch your computer okay so you know what will happen if you don't touch your computer for a minute or so your computer will go blank okay you need to on the computer run on it and what will happen if your computer is keep on on and if you don't off it when you are not using the power will also get consumed right for that we have an option called screen saver okay that's a one when our our computer remains idle that is when we don't use it for a short time what we can do we can use this option called screen saver where the screen will be active okay whatever the desktop screen will not appear you we can uh, put some cartoon images or any kind of an images behind it when the screen is ideal so what will happen the current of power also consuming will also be less and your screen will will also be on so after which if you press on any other button it will on shall we see how we have to do that yes students yes shall we see that yes i'm going to show you a video on this yes now yes exactly we are going to press on the yes blank area right clicking and we have pressed this and what is this option right click option yes what option is this exactly we have clicked on personalize okay now when we press on personalize the same screen that we saw for the desktop background changing right so for desktop background we click on this option now which option we are going to see yes screen saver what is the first option none yes this is the option we are seeing so now we are going to click on this yes we are going to click on the screen saver option once it has been clicked we'll see the can you see the screen saver window yes this will pop up now from that here in the screen saver option there is a none click on the drop down arrow you will see lots lots of screen saver option which will display like you want photos or any ribbon 3d related thing we need to select it let's see yes 3d now we are going to select on photo if you click on photo what will happen can you see lots of photos which is going on okay so how do we do it after what time after selecting whatever the screen saver you wanted to click on the settings okay here there can you see a settings and preview here you need to give a wait time so when your screen is ideal for 1 minute or 2 minute you need to give the wait time after selecting the wait time yes and then after uh, say 1 2 minutes or whatever it is and if you click on apply and click on okay that particular screen saver option will come that will appear okay yes on resume display the logo on the screen okay that is when you are back when it is not there and if you click on okay what will happen automatically the screen saver will appear can you see now after idle how big it comes exactly like this it would display okay students 
Yes, hope you understand this particular part. Yeah, very good students. Now, let us see in detail about various options which is available on our screen. Okay, students. Uh, the last option which is called shut down your system that we are going to see now. Yes. How do we shut down and why do we have to shut down the system? Because if you do not shut down properly, what will happen when you on your computer, it will take some time. And if any windows, any, any option like this, if it is not closed, what will happen when you're opening, it will take long time. And what were the items which you have done, you're working with it, it will also get collapsed. And sometimes that particular software may also get deleted did the work also. So the steps for shutting down the computer is we need to click on the start button. Yes, what is this? You all know this, right? Yes, we need to click on the start button. And can you see this option called power? Yes, we need to click on this power button. And can you see an option called restart and shut down and sleep? Which one will you click? Yes, exactly. We, uh, we need to click on the shut down option. Once when you click on the shut down option, what will happen? You will all know. Yes, when you click on the shut down option, what will happen? Your system will get shut down. Okay, this is the steps for your computers, how to uh, shut down your computer. Okay, hope you all must have understood this, right? Yes. So what did all we see? What did all we see? We saw in this lesson about, yeah, what did, did we see in this window? Change, arranging the icons and what else did we see? Yes, very good, very good. Yes, in this video, we saw about how to shut down the system, arranging the desktop and the screen save. Yes, very good students. So hope you all must have understood various options about the windows which is available, right? Am I right? Yes, student. So you all must have understood about this lesson, what all we learned about in Windows lesson in um, say part one and then this part two video. Yes, thank you students. You all have a great day. I will come with an another interesting video with another chapter in the next class. Thank you, you all have a great day.